Travis Horn Von Fong, Philippine name Ambo, is starting to get a lot stronger as of this hour, sitting at 11.8 degrees north, 128.9 degrees east, as of 8 a.m. Philippine Standard Time this May 13th. Currently as a tropical storm at 70 miles per hour, pressure 989 millibars, currently a stage 5 on the CDPS where we can see as much as 400 millimeters of rainfall over the Cantawandes and Luzon region over the next couple days. Sensitive damage is anticipated once those go through those areas over the next few days. Again, Vong Fong sitting at 11.8 degrees north, 128.9 degrees east, nearly a typhoon at this hour at 70 miles per hour as of 8 a.m. Philippine Standard Time. And getting into some of the mileages we have, we have Taklaban at 281 miles, Cantawande is at 334, Tugagara is 611, Santa Ana on the northern part of Luzon at 627, and Bosco at 733 miles. Currently, we have it at 70 miles per hour. JTWC hasn't updated yet. They have it right around 60 miles per hour. And Pagasa keeping it at right around 50 miles per hour. However, they may update after the next update in the next couple hours. Getting into the rainfall forecast, you can see Vong Fong in the center of the graphic here as it does move towards the Contawandis and Lujan region, dumping heavier rain across that region. And we're also keeping an eye on an area out in the northern Indian Ocean as that could develop over the next few days by the time we do get into the weekend. Vong Fong will dump heavier rain across the Contawan Luzon region by the time we do get into Friday and Saturday. And the other area of interest in the North Indian Ocean could develop by Monday, possibly Tuesday of next week. Sea surface temperatures are looking like this, 29 degrees Celsius where Vong Fong is at. The other area, right around 31 degrees Celsius. Getting into the forecast for Vong Fong, as most models are in agreement right now that this could become a pretty considerable typhoon, Category 1, Category 2 overall, as it will gradually make its way towards the Contawandes region by the time we do get into Thursday and Friday. And will parallel the coastline, maybe get into a second landfall with the east coast of Luzon by the time we do get into Friday and Saturday. By that time, it may bring some impacts to the southern Riku Islands as it does go out to sea. And then the other area of interest will start developing on Sunday, possibly Monday, could impact Bangladesh or Minobar by the time we do get into next week. Chances of tropical storm conditions are looking like this. Kanawan is at 73%, Tukagawa at 48%, Santa Ana at 35%, Taklaban at 30%, and Bosco at 27%. Getting into the models here, most models are arguing that this is going to become a typhoon. A few of them being bullish, thinking it can almost make Category 3. We'll have to see if it has enough time to do that, as not only will wind shear start getting worse here at about 15 to 20 knots, but it's also going to run out of time with land interaction. Sea surface temperatures are decent, relative humidity is good, and most models there are taking over Contawandis, but it's just a matter of if it's going to hit the central part of Luzon or north. This is our cone that we have going right now. Signal 1 warnings along the northern part of Samar. As you can see, most of them are in agreement along with our models, keeping it right up along the Lujan region. Now getting into the satellite imagery, you can see how Vong Fong is starting to look really good over the last few images. Possibly getting an eye light feature going on. We're seeing that not only on the satellite, but the water vapor imagery as well. And getting into the infrared, you can start to see an eye starting to clear out colder cloud tops are starting to cool in that area so we could be seeing this become a typhoon very soon. If you're in the Cantawandes up towards the Lujan region, you got maybe another day or two before this is going to start coming your way, but make sure you batten down the hatches and keep an eye here as we will have another update later on. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can check us out on all of our outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword 413. You're probably there already, good chance of that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword 413, where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well. And we're on Twitter, keyword 413. And if you want to rock our colors like Nathan Foy here, you can go to our store available at store.force13.com or you can contribute to the project directly by way of the Patreon. 
More information about patronage and the privilege you can get from patronage can be found at patreon.com forward slash 413. And you can reach out to us on Skype at 413 or to me directly on Discord at TREN, extension 1375. Or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash 413.